Tell it to someone is brought to you by Easter eggs because January the 9th is not too early a time to be celebrating Easter. Greetings and welcome to Tell It To Someone, the only show which gets delayed sometimes because of rain and my bicycle got a puncture and I had to fix it and then I couldn't find the puncture in it and but I so I, I put the tyre back on maybe it was anyway um, I got a flat on the way here and I had to pump it up again and yeah you don't need to know all that. And the first question is by Xenos4225 Which would be better for me to dress up as and run up and down the busiest street in town? town an octopus or an owl? Well, octopuses have eight legs so that means that in order to dress up adequately as an octopus and not look foolish you would need four friends and since you like dressing up in animal costumes and running up and down um, the busiest street in town. I don't think you've got that many friends, so um, you better wear the owl suit. Next comes you, James, 1978 and he asks, is it okay to ask a question about badges? Yes, but you only get one. That was it. Um, Riston Raccoon asks, Provide proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. See, um, I would provide some evidence, um, but the person who usually asks that, um, shock of God, um, he doesn't like evidence that hasn't been pulled out of his own ass. And I'm wearing pants today, so I, I don't want to be taking them off and then pulling something out of my ass so the answer is no I'm not going to provide any and the next question is now that the holidays are over do you have any su suggestions on how best to shed those few extra pounds that we've all packed on during the holiday festivities well um, how to shed some power. I know, I know about this. I, I did a lot of that when I was in London. And what you do is you go to a, um, you go, um, convert all your currency and then, um, you, um, go rent a, ho you go rent a, 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 a hotel room and, and stay there for, uh, you know, like, you know, like the whole of s summer and, by the end of that time, you would have shed all your pounds and you will have nothing left in the bank. Uh, the next question is, by night time, and it's a food related question for some reason. Why do hot dog rolls come in, come in packs of six and hot dogs come in packs of eight? Right, you see, this is how they make you buy more hot dogs. You see, I've done the maths here. See, um, see, in order to get the, uh, the, the lowest common um, multiplier is 24. So you'd have to buy eight, eight threes are 24, so you'd have to buy eight um, packs of hot dogs, but you'd have to buy um, um, six, uh, uh, no, you'd have to buy six times four is 24, so four time, four packets of, of of hot dog rolls and that would mean and see I tried this and I had to buy 24 hot dogs and and then I ate them but that but that only used up a quarter of the mustard um, in in the bottle that I, I bought so I had to I, I ended up buying 96 hot dogs and I ate them all um, 
yeah, I, I don't recommend buying, eating um, 96 hot dogs in a row. And the last question is by Defect530. Why can't Pluto be a planet? For the same reason why Pluto can't be a talking dog like Goofy. Because Pluto isn't a planet. You see, there's a difference between planets and Pluto. You see, I'll, I'll demonstrate. You see, a planet has a more or less circular orbit. See, like this. <laughs> And um, a, a um, whatever Pluto is, has an elliptical orbit and it's slightly um, tilted and goes within the orbit of, of, of Neptune and um, goes out again. So it looks more like this. <laughs> And so, um, you, so, um, you've got one, which is Pluto, which doesn't quite fit the description of a planet, and the rest of them are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, Uranus. Don't laugh. And Neptune. So, um, so it used to go, my very excellent memory, something beginning with J, shows us nine planets, and now it, it no, my very excellent memory jogger shows us nine planets, and now it is my very excellent memory jogger shows us nothing because it's not true there's only eight planets now live with it eight eight Pluto is like some sort of planetoid it it's not planet never was they just called it a planet because everybody at the time in the in the 30s they were all you know they thought it was glamorous to be looking for a planet and finding a planet and there was no planet there it was only some sort of planetoid pluto something ish and it was not spherical it's lumpy and and there's two of it smaller than the moon except it's out there with the gas giants and it's not a planet. It's a thingy. And that's it for Tell It Someone for this week. If you would like to ask some uh, questions of me for Tell It To Someone for next week, ask down there. Here's some thinking music just to punish you. Thinking music, thinking music. It's a lot better than drinking music. Cause it's the one which always encourages I wonder if that all that music was in my own head. I wrote it from scratch. And here is your dovetail question for next week. I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off.